What's up, guys? It is Dammit Bennett. We are back here in YouTube land, which is not normally the place we hang out. We are normally on Twitch, um, but we're we're starting something new here. Uh, last week, we did a video called Dammit Noob, episode one. This is going to be episode two, and we're going to be focusing on DeepBot and OBS Remote. These are questions that I get asked a lot, not necessarily by viewers, but by specifically other broadcasters. They are wanting to know how... I do the video thing. And uh, there's not a whole lot of information out there. Honestly, when I was first trying to figure this out, uh, I couldn't find anything on it. Uh, I only saw a couple other broadcasters using uh, DeepBot in this way, and I thought it was awesome, but I was like, I can do it bigger. Like, I can make this shit crazy. We're going to get lit, and flames are going to go everywhere. It's going to be awesome. And so... I looked into it. I found a couple of tutorial videos, and they were not very good. I'll be honest with you. The quality of them was really bad. You you couldn't really understand what they were doing. And um, eventually, after a bunch of trial and error, I was able to figure out how to do this. And specifically with the chaining of commands, getting a viewer to be able to type in a command into chat, it happened on screen, and then it turns off. That is what we're going to focus on today. Um, this doesn't have to be done with video specifically, but uh, that is how we are going to kind of showcase it today. I know that if you've checked out the stream before, you've probably seen some of these videos. They go on the screen, they're flames, or there's lightning bolts, or there's... I don't know. They're just silliness. So uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get your your community involved. Um, the quality of that is is pretty cool. I like it. I have a lot of fun with it. So it is something that um, I definitely think that you guys will enjoy this. Um, but it also gives a little bit deeper look into some of the stuff that goes into this. Now, uh, a couple things first. First, these videos that I have uh, made and that I use on my stream are made in Adobe After Effects. That's a whole nother whole nother video. Uh, those those videos um, are pretty hard. If you've never used Adobe After Effects, it is not the easiest type of program to use. But it is something that, um, you know, if you want to dive into that later, we can definitely do that. Um, moving forward, they also have to be uh, QuickTime videos or a video uh, file extension that supports alpha layers. Um, the reason that you can see them and still see the gameplay and me on screen is because they are um, transparent. Um, and that, that is that alpha layer. Otherwise, it would just be a black background and, you know, it would come up. It would just it wouldn't be seamless with the game and the stream and everything that's happening. So alpha layers are a must. Um, and then there's a couple programs and, and extensions and uh, plugins that we need to install as well. So let's first off start there. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to get is DeepBot. DeepBot is a moderator bot um, that uh, I use in my channel. It is something that uh, without this, this whole video would not be possible because this is exactly the, the program that you need to make this happen. I don't know of any of uh, the other bots that actually use OBS Remote. Uh, except for DeepBot. So this is a must. Um, the other downside to this specific thing is that you have to use OBS Classic. Uh, the OBS Studio, the new version, will not work with this. Uh, and you'll see that here in a second because the other thing that we're going to need um, is going to be OBS Remote Plugin. It is 1.12. And if you see right here highlighted, I already have it highlighted. It's in red, but uh, admin note, no update in two years. This is pretty much a dead plugin. The developer is no longer, for whatever reason, developing this plugin. Uh, it looks like it was last updated on, on March 16, 2014. So unfortunately, it just, it's, it's not... It's not going to be moving into the OBS studio unless someone else gets on board with it or they decide to bring it back. I don't really know, but uh, I love this uh, OBS remote. It, it makes all of this possible. So uh, OBS Classic is needed and then the um, OBS remote here as well for this specific uh, tutorial. We are also using the video source plugin for uh, OBS Classic, and uh, that plugin is going to... Um, be required if you're trying to do a video. If you're doing a picture, you should have that built right into OBS, and you're good. 
Um, the one thing that I do want to mention about Depot is this is a program that does cost money. You have to, um, at least when I signed up for it, you do need to uh, register uh, in the beta program. I don't know if it's still in beta or not anymore, but it costs about $10 to get into that program. Uh, once you got in there, you got one month free uh, VIP features um, for that whole month. And if you decided to no longer use the VIP features, you could still use DeepBot. You have it now. That's cool. You're in. It costs you 10 bucks. Good job. If you are wanting to use the features, which honestly, I think the OBS remote, remote feature is definitely a VIP feature. So you probably have to pay the $5 a month. It's just like a subscribe on Twitch. Uh, you, you definitely have to pay it. So... Uh, with that being said, we're going to pull up DeepBot here. So this is DeepBot, and it's got a lot of different things from, uh, you know, chat itself to, uh, you know, a user database and, and some other stuff. And we can get into that later, but um, we're also going to pull up OBS Classic here. Um, and in OBS Classic, we're going to create a new video source. So... Um, we just installed that plugin and we're going to call this one love one and we already have a video picked out for it, but there's other important information that we need to do first. Uh, the video width does need to be, it does need to match the video, which is going to be the standard, uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, and we're also going to need to turn on playlist looping. This is really important. If you're going to want these to continue to happen throughout your stream, the looping does need to be on, which means that, uh, it's just going to play over and over again. Now this can get a little crazy. I will admit I've had to stop a stream, uh, maybe once or twice before when we were getting raided and people were like throwing these video commands everywhere. And my CPU usage was going through the roof. I just kind of stopped and started over because once they all start playing, some of these videos are pretty intense and they can use a lot of CPUs. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want to blow shit out and uh, I don't want you getting mad. So uh, the other thing that's a little weird about this video plugin is in order to add a, a video to the playlist here, you got to hit the question mark. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but we're going to select the video we already have made for this. Um, again, this is made in After Effects. It does have an alpha layer, so it is transparent. And you guys are going to go see that right now on screen. So that's the love one uh, that we've made. Now, we go back into the channel commands here in DeepBot. And this is when we're going to start getting um, specific with the commands. Uh, we're going to delete this one because I just made it in an, another take. So let's just uh, delete that. There we go. Uh, now we're going to create a new command. So the new command here is going to be love one of one and we want it enabled the access control is going to be all viewers we want anybody that comes into our stream to be able to play this video you can choose from different people from vips which is a whole nother deep bot thing we can get into later to mods to just you the streamer whatever you want we want it for everybody and we're going to put a cooldown of 10 seconds on this so it just doesn't get spammed too much but uh, 10 is fine. For maybe some bigger videos, you you're going to want some cooldowns. Uh, we have a shy video, the just, just do it video in there uh, in our stream. And that one's like a huge cooldown because it's just it's really long. And I don't want him. I don't want shy yelling at everybody for the entire stream. So you put a cooldown there. The next thing we're going to look at is sound. We don't really do any of that. That's not necessary. Same with the on-screen widget. We don't, we don't use any of that. The other important stuff is going to be over here under cost, action, and command chaining. So first off, cost. If you have a currency in your channel, which DeepPot can give you, um, you can charge to play this video. Uh, all of the videos on our stream do have a, a price for them to play in Crab Coins. Um, it's up to you how you want to do this for this purpose. We're going to charge zero for it. Um, we're going to move on to the OBS remote section and that is where the, the magic happens, if you will. So this first one for love one, the command that every or any viewer can run, we're going to click enable source. Now it is very important that when you choose your, uh, your scene or your source here that you choose and you type in it exactly as it exists in OBS. So we typed in love one and love one down here is our source for this heart uh, video that's playing. 
So that is set. Now we need to chain the command to turn it off. And this is where it gets a little confusing. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to create another command, and we're going to call this one love1, one, and we're going to call it love1 one off. So we have off here, and we're going to tell it to run after 10 seconds. Now, if you have a video that is a specific amount of time that does contain audio, it is incredibly important you know exactly how long your video is because that is where you need to put it. So if your video is 35 seconds long or 35.5 seconds long, you need to make sure that this will run after 35.5 seconds. If not... It's going to continue to loop. You're going to have the sound going. Maybe the video is not going to play. It's going to be really annoying and frustrating for you trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But for this one, there's no audio. We're good. All we need to do is just 10 seconds uh, of the love happening on stream, and then it will turn itself off. So once we've selected this, we are going to go to save and close, and then we're going to create a brand new command and this command is the one that we already uh, said that was going to happen which is going to be exclamation love one off now that we've created this command it already exists but we need to actually set it up so love one off is going to happen and we're going to let all viewers use this but they're not even going to know it's there so love one off is here it's going to be run as a user, but we are going to select this time hide from command list. Now, every now and then someone will jump into the stream. They want to know what your commands are. They're going to type in that, and then all, all the deep bot commands are going to be there. You don't want to have a bunch of your garbage in there that people don't need to see, uh, and then trying to turn off commands when they don't happen. So click hide from command list. That way it's not going to be there. Now, this is the other really important part about the off command is that you need to select disable source in the OBS remote section. Disabling the source will actually turn this off. And once again, it does need to be exactly as it is in OBS. So we want to be all capital letters, love one. And we don't need to, to chain any commands here. We've got it hidden from the command list. It's just, it, it only exists to turn it off. So we're going to go save and close. Now we've got these, these two commands that we just created, love one and love one off. Let's just open these up one more time make sure we have everything correct so the command here let's even put a message in here so let's just throw let's just throw some some hearts maybe uh maybe a damn it damn it love one of my better twitch tv emotes in there and then we've got all viewers we have enable source we've got love one and love one off running after 10 seconds We'll go back in here, just double check this one again. Love one off, love one, disable source, hide from command list, boom, perfect. So everything looks to be good, right? So let's just go ahead and turn this scene off or this source off and let's go back to the deep bot chat. So we're gonna type in exclamation love one and bam, there it is. It's gonna play. The emotes are going to go, and that's something completely different. Don't worry about that. But it's going to play for 10 seconds, and then it should turn off. And it looks like it just did. So we have successfully created two commands, one to chain the actual love one command to turn it on and then one to turn it off and that is using obs remote so this is something that happens you can do it with a lot of different things you can use it with images or gifs or anything really any sort of media if you may have to download additional plugins to make that happen but that is exactly how it happens on my stream uh with the different um videos that we have planned so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions please please Type some comments down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you like this video series. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button as well. That helps get it out there. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you ever are interested in seeing this actually happen live, swing by to uh, twitch.tv forward slash damn it Bennett. Um, and um, come hang out. We'll, we'll be happy to have you.